our phone be here in Tatu Chapel. It is in the series of several worlds we need to lock ourselves away from. And today we need to lock ourselves away from the world of unbelief. Now the Bible says that now faith is the substance of the things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Verse 2, let's read it together, it's on the screens. For by eight the elders obtained the good testimony. Verse 3, by faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. Let's go on, verse 4. By faith Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and through it he being dead still speaks. Verse 5, by faith Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death and was not found because God had taken him. For before he was taken, he had this testimony that he pleased God. And finally, verse 6, louder now, let's go together. But without faith, I'm not hearing you, church. Let's start again. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Let's take our seats. Now, I wish to bring to us this brief sharing today that we need to lock ourselves out of the world of unbelief. Unbelief is a dangerous world for every believer to operate in. I think that qualifies to be point number one, that unbelief is a very dangerous world for every believer or any believer to operate in. And that is why I persuade us today, Tattoo Chapel, that above all things, our faith needs to arise. Our commitment in trusting God for what can be bought with money it needs to arise. And our conviction that God will bless us beyond our relatives, beyond our friends, it needs to be rekindled again. And I repeat again that unbelief, it is a very dangerous world for any believer to operate in. Now think about that statement for a minute. Think about that line for a minute. With this understanding that faith is a substance of the things hoped for and the evidence of the things not seen, it is important that each one of us know whether you're in business, whether you're in job, whether it is a project to own, whether it is in your career, there is something that you cannot survive without and that is called faith. The world of unbelief, it is a world that we should not be found to operate in. May our faith for new levels arise in Jesus' name. May our faith for properties arise in Jesus' name. May our faith for new connections arise and operate in. And I invite you to move out of that world. And shortly, I will be mentioning some of the things that you need to do to ensure that you come out of the stage of unbelief and get into the next level of faith. The Bible says that by faith, verse 2, the elders obtained a good testimony. Now, I want to say this to us, number two, that there will be no good testimonies if faith is not part of our foundation. It is important, you shared with us about faith here, Pastor Paul, in a youth Sunday. And I want to repeat to us and say that there will not be good testimonies if faith is not part of our foundation. You cannot say you are sinking. I declare you are not sinking. You are rising up in Jesus' mighty name. You cannot join with the world and say, they ask you faith. 
How are you doing? And then you say, to Nangangana too, we withdraw that word, Pastor Hopa. Hatungangani, sisi ni watu wa imani. You cannot be asked by a person, how are you faring on? And then you tell them, I am a hustler. And I saw another one launched the other day. They are calling themselves the Strugglers Movement. Did you see that? I even want to announce and say, and don't spin this in political dimension. I also want to say, by faith, you are not a hustler and you are not a struggler. After we are done with elections, there are some people that will live in gross poverty because for two years they confessed in the realm of the spirit that I am not a believer. I am a hustler and everything I get, I get it through my sweat. And at the end of the two years, there are people that will be suffering because they had a banner and they said, we are not blessed citizens. We are the strugglers movement. And I want to say this in the Lord, that we, we are going to obtain a good testimony, then our foundation must be faith. It is amazing that a class 8 dropout who has got faith can excel in life better than a doctor or even a professor. Can I hear us say amen? It is not about a good bank account. For by faith, the elders obtained a good testimony. And I want to encourage Tatu Chapel as we face the fourth year, the fifth year, and the sixth year. If we are going to have good testimonies, a car is a good testimony. Properties is a good testimony. Healing and deliverance is a good testimony. Establishment is a good testimony. You building and opening your house by faith is a good testimony. And for Tatu Chapel to own land, it is a good testimony. And if there will be good testimonies, then we must be people of faith in Jesus' mighty name. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen? Everything we do must be centered on faith. The pledges that we do must be centered on faith. The letterheads that we make must be centered on faith. The plannings that we do must be centered on faith. The clients that you visit and you want them to buy land, it must be centered on faith. Tatu chapel. Najua mnatafuta pointi ya tatu. Lakini nataka wone iki tunaitua good testimony. It is generated from the foundation of faith. Can I hear somebody say amen? From the foundation of faith. Even if your daughter is unwell. Like Mrs. Mwangi's daughter has been unwell admitted. And I'm so grateful that she said, I have faith. And when we have a fundraiser, and when we have everything, she said, I want to look for a ram. I want to look for something I can honor God with for the sake of my daughter. And when I saw that 16,000, when you need money in KU referral hospital, and you say, that is an offering that God may preserve my daughter in the hospital. That is called faith. That is called walking by faith. And I want to be followed. I want to be rallied to. Can you stand, you girls, behind me here? I want to be followed by people. Some two other men here, leaders here. Two of you here, wonderful leaders. Let us there be a journey. A journey of faith. It is not about what we have. It is not a, about a good bank account. It is not about a good education. It is not about a rich family. It is not about what you feel. The journey is a journey of faith. And may God help me as your leader not to be barren 
in the matters of faith. As you follow the worship team leader, every department, I want you to know it is not about the money that is in the bank account. It is a journey of faith. Can I hear you say amen? It is about the journey of faith. It is about the journey of faith. The next vehicle, it is about the journey of faith. The next land, it is about the journey of faith. And your next level, it is a journey of faith. If we want a good testimony, then our foundation must be faith. Thank you, guys. May you receive much based on the spirit of faith. I operate with faith, my dear ones. Sometimes I see people borrowing me money. And I just go into the chambers and thank God and say, if they can see it on my face, it must be somewhere in the spiritual realm. If they can see it in my family, it must be somewhere in the spiritual realm. And I want to encourage us that if we want to have a good testimony, then the foundation must be faith. Can somebody say amen? amen. Verse 3, I told us it's going to be very brief today. Verse 3, everything we desire in life is going to be framed and formed by faith. I wanted to write that down before we go back to verse 3. Everything we desire in this life must be framed or will be framed and formed by faith. Not by anything else. Not by our good deeds. Not by our good trials. Lakini chochote ambacho tunahitaji kitazariwa, kitaundwa. Kitakuwa framed by the spirit of faith. That is what I was encouraging one brother who has a car wash here. And you can see now we are due for a dual carriage from here all the way to the airport. And then stretching all the way to join with the bypass at uh, Roaka, at Tenderu. And this is quite good. I was telling them, though your car wash has been brought down. It was not about the car wash in the beginning. It was not about it. The faith that had given birth to the car wash, it can raise something else after the bulldozers has brought it down. May you receive an anointing that does not take a no for an answer. And you will say it is not about the metal. It is not about the shade. It is not about the taps. It is not about the water. The faith that had set that car wash can still set it up somewhere else. And let me tell you what, Pendua. I know we rush at connections. I know I would love to be associated with Rose or Hope or Ruth or Grace if they are blessed. But at the end of the day, everything we need, everything we desire, it is going to be framed. And I wanted to underline the word frame. When you need a photo to be put on a frame in a jangwa according to size. And you hang it. And if you want something to be formed, you prepare it. Anything we need in life and in ministry is going to be framed and formed by faith. New kidneys are formed by faith. Can I hear you say amen? A new liver is framed by faith. A new cartridge, my sister Philip, for your knee, it is framed by faith. Whatever touches those who are sick and they recover, I tell you, it is not about the doctor and you saying, oh doctor, oh doctor, what a good job you have done. It is not about it. It is about faith. Can I hear us say amen? May Tatu Chapel start businesses by faith. May you launch out by faith. May you approach for tenders by faith. May you approach for contracts by faith. May you pursue opportunities by faith. In the name of Jesus, 
for everything that we need is going to be framed and formed by faith. I can see a cathedral, but you see, some of you, because I've stayed with you a little bit, thanks be to God, and I really thank God for your view. Some of you have a view that I have got a lot of millions stuck somewhere. But let me tell you, even the cathedral that I can see, that is stretching all the way to the back over there, I've talked about it. A cathedral that has got basement parking, that has got people seated on this lower floor, that has got people seated on the balcony, and that has got prayer chambers on top. I tell you the truth, even if there was a billion dollars from America, it will still be framed and formed by faith because there can be billions from America and you build it and nobody is there to worship apart you and your wife. Haven't we seen church structures built? Actually, when we were building, that was my fear because I knew I'm not receiving members from the headquarter. I knew I had not preached in Roiro, not even once. But I had passed through it almost every other day. And therefore I was saying, Sasa ni kijenga kubwa ni chekelewe. Alafu tujipate, alafu kuna manabi wa uongo. Walikuwa nasema, walikuwa mefunga na kuomba, na wakaona nikiwa na watu tano miyaka tatu. May God forbid in Jesus' name. And it is coming from a very top leader and intercessor. We had it yemodua guy. It is going to be a wilderness of how many years? Three years. With how many people? Five. And then I'm putting up structures. I'm calculating 21 pillars. And I have positioned them. And, and when we reached at that speaker, I said, this is overrated faith. Afadhari ni punguze, kakue kadong. Kadongo. Then one brother drove in and said, the way we know the grace you carry, if you are planning to come to that level, would you please organize to go back a little bit? And he said, if I was you, I would really pull it all the way to the back. I would rather have this section partitioned with very nice drywall or very nice, you know, unit, and you worship as 50 or 100 this way, but when we are 300, we will not have to destroy. We will just remove the wall and go ahead. And that brother said, okay, I have some money. Why don't you add a few more pillars? I began excuses. You know there is water. When you go two feet after this speaker, you find a lot of water down. And, but I hid it. Now, when I look at it today, when we have these anniversaries, when we have these big meetings, when we have this happening and we cannot even fit here, even after we agreed to extend, we pumped the water, we got everything running, and, and he even said, he's a brother, I think, alikuwa na imani kubwa kuliko aliyeitwa. Kwa sababu alisema, ata hii mutakuanga na ibada gapi? Mbili. Nikamuliza, now you have started it again. Now it is two services. And let me tell you, that cathedral is going to be formed by faith. I can see it in the realm of the spirit. May God fulfill it by faith. May God do it by faith. And may the prophecy of the witches and the sorcerers of the category of five people in three years be canceled in Jesus' name. And may every negative word be erased. Because everything we need is framed and formed by faith. What I need in my heart is just a clearance. If the Lord clears me after we are done with this to start the cathedral, I would do it with one lorry of stone and one bag of cement. Because where his voice is and you obey, the supply comes later. But our bodmas. Our brackets of division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction of the mind, the mental bodmas, tells you you must have all the stones, all the sand, all the cements, all the d words, metal pieces for you to take over. But everything we need shall be framed and shall be formed by faith. 
Can somebody say amen? May you leave the house and begin to search a job by faith. As you do that, may you meet with a customer in Jesus' name. May they give you one job that will wipe your tears forever. May they give you a contract that will change everything. Because it will be framed and formed by faith. That's how my dad got healed of cancer. It was not anything else. It was by faith. And the day the Lord is telling me anointing, he shall recover. Is the day he was at his weakest. Is the day that he vomited until his eyes rolled back. And my mother went to the stage to look for a vehicle. And we are beat interior to see one vehicle pass passing. And it is possibly a KKK. A KKK. Before KKK passes, it is possibly the next 20 minutes or the next 30 minutes. And she is there standing waiting for KKK. And KZDT. And K whatever. And she came back home. There is no vehicle. Hajapata. And the guy, my father, the eyes are rolled back. But the Lord has said, anoint him. And let me tell you, his health was formed. His health was framed. Can somebody say amen? amen. By faith may we prevail in Jesus' name. I was also blessed by your faith, knowing how much you get challenged financially and in the little businesses you do there and there. And they, may they become great. For you to give a cool 36,000 last night, it was a big encouragement. It is by the spirit of faith. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen. Everything you need, it is going to be framed by faith. Somebody say amen. amen. Number four, let's go to the next one, and then we close with five. By faith, Abel offered a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. And you see, God testified of his gifts. I want to say this, that it is by faith we are able to give God what he requires. It is by faith that we are able to give God what he requires. A more excellent sacrifice than kind. May your sacrifices always be more excellent in Jesus' mighty name. Can somebody say amen? How many of you have discovered the journey of giving? Whether you are supporting a needy person, an orphan, a destitute, a project, you will need faith to be able to part with money that you have sweat to get. How many of you know that there is a voice that tells you your business needs it? One of the sisters here uh, was asking, was sharing with my wife that the daughter was asking, Mom, this is zote umepewa na marafiki. Unapereka kwa fundraiser zote. Zote. And the mother said, yes, it was not given to the family. It was given to the fundraiser. And it is by faith we are able to offer to God a more excellent sacrifice. Can somebody say amen? And then you see the next verse that is bringing us to point number five. It is by faith that we are able to walk in the journey of salvation. It is by faith. By faith, Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death and was not found because God had taken him for before he was taken, he had this testimony that he pleased God. He pleased God by the spirit of faith. Wapendwa, naomba ya kwamba tuamini mungu katika jina la Yesu Christo. May we believe God that even a raven can bring food into your house. Can I hear those amens? Yeah. One day I didn't have anything. I was staying at where? We were staying at Dion Road. And early in the morning, we had a knock in the door. And we wondered, who is this that is visiting people at this hour of the morning? And after opening the door, it is one of the sisters that we used to pray together, an intercessor. 
the Lord burdened her to come and, and bring whatever was needed there. And I know many of you think that a job will solve everything about you. A business will solve everything about you. But I tell you, jobs get lost. Businesses get lost. It is by faith at the end of the day. And when I saw that shopping, I believed that God indeed has sent her. May the Lord send people. One of the people yesterday told us that they went to the school account and found 70000 for the semester deposited already. And they were asking, do we follow the channels and discover who has banked it? I told them, don't even try to put your board mass here. Pick up your college bag and go back to school in Jesus' mighty name. Wapendo to say amen. May we be clothed by faith. May we be supplied to by faith. May we rise up to the next level by faith. May we inherit nations not by air tickets. Because you can have an air ticket and you get stranded in the airport. Yes. We have had people who say, I have an air ticket. I have money. I have everything. But I have nobody to preach for me. I have had Reverend Sam say that he has picked people in the airport that even traveled and their horse who, didn't, who changed their mind forgot about them and switched off their phone. It is not about an air ticket at the end of the day. Let me tell you, you can have everything. You can be the most beautiful girl or the most handsome man. But at the end of the day, marriage union, that relationship is going to happen because you have faith in the God of marriage. Somebody say amen. May there be marriages resulting by faith. Hey, that you trusted the Lord until he came through for you. May there be upliftment by the spirit of faith in the mighty name of Jesus. I got educated by faith. These brethren know that it could not have been possible after that first semester. And an Indian man who does not say praise God, praise God, praise God again. The only thing he knows is to mark his forehead with a red paint. That is a man God touched. He cleared all the arrears. He even paid until graduation gown. And when we were so burdened, and my mother was saying, can't we go and visit him? When we called, we were told, ah, forget about that. That man, as soon as he did what he did, he left back for his businesses in India and left that note in the office that this boy must be educated up to the last thing. So we never saw him again. That is a God of faith. Can you give him praise? That is a God of faith. And it is during my college time that my grace for ministry exploded. So it was exploded through a man who does not even know God. It is in that college moment that our opportunity came up to travel and do ministry. I pray by faith may we even build mansions in Jesus' name. Don't keep on going and saying, eh, unaona meble vile watu wamejenga. Unaona vile watu wamejenga. Ongeza ingine. Yes, wamejenga na yangu inafuata. Unaona vile watu wamenunua magari. Yeah, it's, it's a fact. But also add something. Na yangu bado inakuja. Unaona vile watu wanavalia. Yes, lakini yangu inafuata. May the Lord help us to be children of faith in Jesus' name. Answer huo muradi katika jina la Yesu Christo. Begin that construction by faith. Visit that furniture shop by faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I want to close by saying that without taking steps of faith, God says he cannot be pleased with you. Without taking steps of faith, God says he cannot be pleased with you. Visit acquired by faith. 
visit a bazaar by faith. Let us continue to do it by faith. Because without faith, it would be impossible to please God. I rested there at Tatu Chapel. I expect from today, we are going to arise in the spirit of faith. I expect that from today, we are going to arise. Yes, you have shared that by faith. You see, she has also shared that by faith. Congratulations. Thank you. Now you can go back. Yes, by faith. That is really good. We need to do it by faith to the glory and to the honor of his name. When I look as, let me wind up by this. When I look at the poverty we grew in, my friends, nothing else would have changed it apart from faith. When there is a very cooking up by the three stones, and when you turn Monday, can you say Gedheri? When you turn Tuesday, Wednesday, I know you throw bread in the morning because it has no blue bud. Ravi Momono. When you turn on Wednesday, that is why I always tell them, Wakipika wabarikiwe. Wabariki? Nirikula mpaka ya uze. I ate until I banked for the future. And they tried to trick it by putting minji instead of beans or whatever. Just it, that it doesn't look like. But we ate until we had a stock for years to come. Seeing my first good shoe in high school. Seeing this and this happening. There was no way that poverty background would have broken Minus the spirit of faith. I pray today, when you look at that village home, declare from this bloodline, there will be permanent houses in Jesus' mighty name. From this bloodline, there will be upliftment in the name of Jesus Christ. And declare from that bloodline, there will be riches in Jesus' mighty name. When they see us today, they know truly, Kwekayuradi managa. There is a God who blesses us. There is a God who blesses us. And that is why I always say, when I look at all that, all the coffee work we did in Sassini, all the picking of coffee, all everything we did there, faith was still there that one day I will be a blessing to the nations. That is why yesterday, in one of my largest givings, I remembered myself one day in Sassini Coffee Farm. I was still mature. I was still speaking in tongues. I was still preaching. And that day, we needed food so desperately at home. And I picked up the sack. I picked up a gallon. And I'm there. And you get your Mnyapara telling you, okay, you came, the two of you, take this line and take it down, picking up the coffee. And that day, there were four major rains. Mvoaine kali sana. You are rained on until water is dripping down. Then after a period of time, how many of you know about that kind of rain? After a period, the sun comes a little bit. Then you begin to smoke like a fool, you know? Everything, everything is smoking from your hair to the clothes and everything. Evaporation, the water is going up. And then when you're rejoicing and you're picking up the second one, another dark cloud forms. And I remember when the fourth rain came at around 2 p.m. I held that coffee tree. And I said, that is why even today, even if you give me two things, Gedheri, another thing, a coffee farm, I will thank you. One month later, you'll find it is all uprooted. It is all and something else better put there. Because we picked coffee up to. I held up that tree. And I remember. I shed tears. And I told God. I know my great grandfathers did this. I know my grandparents did this. Including my grandmother. Who had a wrong injection. Done wrongly. 
and she got deformed in one of the legs and she used to use a walking stick and they used to call her Wamutirima. And she used to go to the coffee farm with her walking stick all the days of her life, even a few days to her death. And I say that it has happened to my uncles and my aunties. And I say now, it is even happening to me. The only person doing better then was my dad, but he was still driving a coffee farm lorry. So it, coffee is still there at the end of the day. And I held that tree and I said, God, I believe that one day this poverty is going to change. I cannot go home because I know I'll find the three young ones, the triplets around my mother. That time my dad had a very high runaway energy. And you understand what that means. And I'll find that happening. And they are waiting for the 15 shillings per debit that will be paid. So when giving that donation yesterday, I remembered the coffee tree. That was the last day I picked coffee. Even when I'm trying to tell people how it is picked, I never dare touch the berry. Now you say, Turi Marizana? No. And that God, this is where I'm taking it in closing. That God, may he give you what your relatives can never give you. That God who changed the story, may he change your story in the name of the Lord. And I declare, may there be a surge of faith to the praise and to the honor of his wonderful name. And all of us gathered here, can we say amen? Somebody say, Lord Jesus, today I receive a surge of faith. And I'm going to take steps of faith towards my future, towards my business, towards my project. You God that rebuilt the coffee tree for our leader. May you do it for me. I believe God rebuked that tree because it looked like our family had been lined up for that. Praise the Lord. Stretch your hands like this. I don't have much today. I declare from today, may you move out of the world of unbelief in Jesus' mighty name. May you move out of the world of impossible in Jesus' name. May you move out of the world of struggling in Jesus' name. May you move out of the confession that unangangana too. And I declare in the name of Jesus, may there be steps of faith, steps of faith towards your healing, towards your deliverance, towards your next level in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you, because by faith you shall do it. I lift up Mrs. Mwangi's daughter to you at KU Referral Hospital. By the spirit of faith, we discharge her out of that hospital. We rebuke the spirit of dead. We rebuke the spirit of uncertainty. We rebuke the spirit of oppression. In the name of Jesus, and today we declare to Jerry that she is recovering out of that situation. We send the angel of life into that hospital in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you that you're doing it by the spirit of faith. We thank you, our Father, that from today we will begin to confess and take radical steps of faith to the honor and to the praise of your name. In Jesus' mighty name, somebody say, I receive. Somebody say, I declare today, I will not look at the clouds to sow. I will not look at the wind to plant. I will move by the spirit of faith. 
and all of us say amen. I feel sometimes it's not about the laying on of hands. I feel the assignment is done. Can we give the Lord a good hand of praise? A good hand of praise in Jesus' name. Marianne is discharged from hospital in Jesus' mighty name.